Thank you for being on the line at EverybodyRadio.com. You're live on the Mr. Buck Live show. Who are we speaking with? Mr. Buck Live. It's Miss Toy. Miss Toy in the building. You can do it. Put your back yes, into sir. it. Uh huh. I can do it. Put my back into. Uh, I better not saying that. You know. What I mean, I, I don't do as well as y'all did. Y'all no, went platinum with the song. I, y'all, y'all went platinum with it. I'm gonna leave it alone because I'll be messing it up. I, I wouldn't it's even go over, paper. Over. It's multi, multi, multi platinum. You can't um platinum me, baby. You feel me? <laughs> Absolutely. I mess around. I'm gonna go paper next week. Yes, sir. I'll be in your building. Yes, 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 y'all. For all y'all out there listening, this is my sister, my girl, Miss Toy, in the building. Miss Toy, what you got? Right. What you got going on? You got a birthday coming up, don't you? Yeah, at the end of this month. You know, I'll be in Chicago, so that's why I got to come before I leave. You know, LA. I'm ready to just go travel around and do some big things and go promote my song. I'm a warrior. I was born on Savior's Day. You so you was born on who day? So. Savior's Day. If anybody out there is Muslim and know that in Chicago is holding a event for Savior's Day. And if you don't know about it, Google it. So you'll be more familiar with what's going on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, my song, I'm a warrior. Allah white by means God is the greatest. And, you know, it's just one of those songs that you got to just tell people, you know, without your and without everything that y'all haven't done for this boy, God is still the greatest, and he is still behind my project 100%. You feel me? Absolutely, absolutely. Now, listen, I listened to this song, without yeah. exaggeration, <laughs> with some of the partners in the station at least 20 times, and yeah. we know yeah. that people are going to ask you. They're going to call in here and yeah. say, what, what is she saying? So explain right. explain to them exactly what the words mean. Well, it's Arabic, and if you've ever heard of the prayer, the Zion prayer, it's Allahu Akbar means God is the greatest, and Muhammadan Rasulullah means Muhammad is the messenger of God. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm a messenger for my music and to other people to learn different things in different languages. You know what I'm saying? And also participating in music in a different way. In the club, you hear everybody saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I mean, we calling out the Zion right now to let everybody know, you know, God is the greatest. And when we get in the club, we get in the club, that don't mean we don't we don't say that he's not the greatest. We want to get there safe. We want to leave there safe. You feel me? So, you know, we got to do our thing. Absolutely. And it's it's a head banger. Oh, it, sure. it, it'll keep your head banging. I got my cousin B Easy in the station with me right now. One of these old he one of these old, he's one of these old college graduates with the whole knowledge of black history. <laughs> He'll take us down the line, you know what I mean? But what I was saying, when I was listening to it, I didn't know what it meant, but you sound good saying it, I know that. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about God when you were saying I was like, Man, that hook I know, is that's right. That's that's the twist in the game. You oh, know yeah. you're not about God when you when I tell you this and that's what it's all about and this song really in my verses tell you a lot about me you know it yeah. tells you a lot about how Miss Toy get down and what I'm not playing with I'm not playing with this game so I appreciate y'all listening to it like that uh, uh, yeah, that, but, that but, yeah. Lot to- but but Miss Toy look here mm-hmm. I told him I said look here don't make the you know he googled it and looked it up and pulled your pictures and your name and stuff I said look here <laughs> now, now Miss Toy this all I did Trying to be the peacemaker. Let's not change some things. Right? <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, he did say that. Yeah. That's, 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 I'm still Miss Toy, and I love my fans. I love my fans. And, you know, he just got to understand that people love me, too. So, I mean, if you're looking at my pictures and stuff and you appreciate beauty, then thank you. I take it as a compliment, and I really do appreciate it. Yeah, we was also listening to your, your girl song. What was that? Dragonfly, Butterfly, that turned up song? Butterfly? Yeah. Yes. That, oh, yeah. Dragonfly? Right. I told her to send the Turned Up song in. She, we ain't got it yet. What, what's the problem? You need to get on your yeah, girl. I had sent her the email. I had sent her the email, you know, to send it to some people who are just not on top of their game, like in the store, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they have make you wait, and, and you really want them now. You feel me? Right. They, 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 you know, they'll make you wait when you really, really want them now. So they'll learn to, you know, valuable lesson on how to get their stuff to them right, right away, you know. Yeah, but me and Buck was listening to that song about like five, well, after the show last, what was that, Tuesday? Yeah, we was in here listening to that song about like eight times, <laughs> man, back to back. Is that is a banger. Oh my God. It is a banger. Yeah. Which means you sent it immediately like you said you was. That's right. Yeah, we, we yeah, checked we, it out. Yeah, we couldn't turn it off. But listen, I had See. other I had other people listening to it too, and, and with, yes, you, with you rapping and switching the language... It's something so different that 
it's one of them songs that you find yourself playing if nothing more than to try to figure, figure out, out what, what you're you right. saying. And that, I think, <laughs> will sell. And, and what's so funny is, like, I'm going to really, you know, break stuff down, like how things happen with music, with me. It's like I like to sit around people that, like, you know, have good sense of humor and also can teach you something. And, you know, the Peacemaker, actually, I had him free on my beat. And he, he, you know, you know, we both Muslim, but he kept saying that. And I said, I'm gonna make it a song, you know. And he have his own version on his phone that he freestyled, and it's it's incredible. But I went and took it to the studio and made it a hit. So you know, I gotta get thanks to him for knowing what to say too, you know. You know what? Let's do this. Let's plug the show and let everybody know what, because a lot of people like if they missed it. Or if they don't know what we're talking about, when you say the peacemaker, let's let everybody know out there because a lot of people have seen the show and a lot of people might not might be slipping. So let's let them know. You know, give a little plug for the TV show that he's on. Well, well, they not slipping because I'm sure a lot of people talk about the peacemaker that was on A and E. You know, and that's Malik Spellman, and you can Google him and go check him out on his Facebook and all that good stuff. Because you know how y'all keep tagging it, that only bring more to the family. So you know what I mean. We probably trying to get a new, you know, station and everything and, uh, you know, put that peacemaker out there. But he's been doing it for 30 some years out here, you know, getting in between a lot of these uh, rival gangs and, and making peace in these streets. I've seen it being done several, several times over. And, you know, I've been with him a long time, so I know that it's real. So in case y'all thought it wasn't real, I'm the girl of this toy and I'm spitting the truth to you, letting you know that he out there in, in, in the midst of a lot of gang wars and, and things get settled with an understanding that, and nobody's trying to do peace treaties. It's just grown people and black men sitting down trying to get an understanding on how can we not kill each other and how can we stay out of each other's way and how can we not let the police, you know, um, always agitate us to kill each other when they over there writing on the walls and they over there, putting, you know, dropping brothers off in different hoods in the wrong areas. And, you know, a lot of stuff is really racial profiling in it. And a lot of stuff is racist. So, you know, you have to look at it for what it is. and you know, start growing up and don't don't kill your people. We all could be peacemakers, and that's what my song is all about. That you gonna play too. I'm gonna have to send you the peacemaker. Absolutely. I mean, it's all about us trying to save each other. You know, so we can build a better black community. And this is Black History Month, and if nothing else, we should speak on it really, really tough every last day of this month because it's the shortest month in 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 the whole you know, 12, 12 months we have. And my birthday is at the end of it, the 26th. I almost didn't even have a birthday, you know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's twenty eight. It's twenty eight days. Sometimes twenty nine. But um, at the end of the day, it's Black History Month. Black people, and I love y'all. Hey, you think that's bad? You lucky it wasn't on the twenty ninth day, like some people are. I'm, I'm glad because my, you know, my day is kind of special. Two twenty six means a lot to me because I mean, my mom and my pops joined together to make me. So that's that's the best day. So. You know, and I'm able to do this music and share with y'all in, in, in the deepest way possible. That means a lot. She told me before I could talk, I was singing Minnie Ripper Tennis Shaka Khan. So I'm supposed to be on this radio station with you, but. Absolutely, absolutely. I believe that. And you know what? I remember when I was a kid, one of my mother's brothers, his wife used to always be like, You should be a little lawyer or something. You talk a lot. You're going to have a job where you talk. And I used to be like, Leave me alone. And lo and behold, look, I'm sitting here on the radio station. My Uncle Albert, wow. we call him fish, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, um, We call him catfish. His wife, Marion, used to always tell me when I was a little bitty kid, I promise you, she used to always say, you're going to have a job where you talk. And I used to get irritated, like, leave me alone. She's like, you're going to be a lawyer or something because you, you, you're you going to be getting your talk on. And look, well, I, I ended up here. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm yeah, talking he, all he the time. He was here too busy breaking the law to be a lawyer. So. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you anyway because I know that it takes a lot to get to where you are and Without dealing with a lot of foolishness, you've been blessed to get to a lot of areas in the game where people wish they could be. So I'm proud of you, and I wish you had applause in the background so you can give yourself a hand clap. Well, I do it for him. Well, you know, you know, you know I, I just want to say. a hand clap. Oh, yeah, I got it, I got there you it. Go. <laughs> hey, hey, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Hey, that would be easy, but look, um, you know what? I just want to say I feel really good when I can bring stuff to the forefront for everybody else, and, and, and it makes me feel good. That's what I like to do. You know, if I could stand in the background and, and push people out there to push their talent and everything else, you know what I'm saying, I feel really good. But for artists such as yourself who's been out there who sold platinum albums, I'm talking about multi-multi-platinum albums, to, say, to call multi. back. 
and, and, and to give us time on the radio and time on the air, I really, really appreciate it. And for you to bring your new projects here, and it may not have been the actual first one, but somewhere near close to the fir- first one, I'm really, really happy. And I want to thank you for, you know, hanging out and doing that. Oh, I got to hang out at Bus Place, you feel me? I got to because, you know, my, you my brother, first of all, and, you know, my, my my black brother's been doing the same, you know what I'm saying? Not only he represented for me in video shoots and stuff like that and bringing the cars and everything else, but I really appreciate you because you always stay down with the story project. Absolutely, absolutely, sis. And uh, tell the peacemaker I said, give me a landline, give me a call when y'all when when you talk to him real soon. Uh, if not, I'll probably give him one tomorrow because it might be a little late by the time we get out the st- station tonight. But uh, I want to thank you very much. Listen, everybody out there listening, please listen to this. Check this out. Call us up and tell us what you think. I am about to drop Miss Toy song. I am a warrior. Now, y'all going to see exactly what we was talking about when I said try to figure out the words of this. And she used different languages and all of that. So, coming to the stage right now, coming to the station, I am a warrior by Miss Toy. Y'all make sure y'all pick up her new album coming out.